Hey guys, Shout what's up? Dragon so the old here. heroes Mia, Eudora, and Zilong just got revamped in Advanced Server. Let's check out their new skills, starting with Mia. Her passive skill shot, is still like the old kill. one, where it grants her attack speed every time she attacks. But you can now see a counter for her passive skill. Watch your back. <laughs> when it reaches full stack, she summons a Moonlight Shadow that will help her in doing basic attacks just like this. I can handle that. The shadow's damage is around 20% and it can deal critical damage. You can't run from my arrow. It can't activate the extra damage from Demon Hunter Sword. Watch also, the back. amount of attack speed she gains is now a bit lower. At full stacks, the old one gives 40% attack speed for 4 seconds, while the new one gives 25% attack speed that. for 3 seconds. Her first skill is still the same except for Shadow. Her Shadow also benefits from her speed arrows just like this. I can handle that. Her second skill releases 8 going? arrows on an area just like this. The target will be mobilized for 1, one second shot, if one they go. are hit with all the 8 arrows. If, if you can hit the target in the middle of her skill, she can instantly mobilize. I can handle that. If it's not in the center, a counter will be placed on the enemy just like this. One shot, one kill. You need to do a few more basic attacks for the enemy to be mobilized. You can't run from my arrow. Her ultimate will now grant her full passive stack once used, just like this. And it's still the same effect where she can remove CC can effects and gain in speed. Away. So far this is a better version of Mia because of the extra damage from her shadow and the instant immobilize from her second skill. That. Will we see Mia in the meta now? Now let's check out Eudora. Eudora's passive skill Superconductor still has the same effect where it improves her other skills. I'm not sure about the duration but I think it's longer now at 3 seconds. Her first skill still deals damage in a fan shaped area when it has no Superconductor. If it has a Superconductor, it will deal extra damage after a short delay just like this. The stun from her second skill will now transfer to nearby enemies if the main target has a superconductor. It can hit up to 3 nearby enemies. The stun will prioritize nearby heroes instead of minions. The duration of the bouncing stun is 0.5 seconds while the main target is 0.8 seconds. Her new ultimate will deal damage to nearby enemies when the main target has a superconductor. The lightning will spread on the ground and find targets nearby. I'm not sure about the damage but being able to stun multiple enemies can be helpful in team fights. About her ultimate, the old one can already hit multiple enemies even without a superconductor. The new one can only hit a single target when it has no superconductor. So what can you say about Eudora's revamp? 
Anyway, let's check out Zilong's new skills. His new passive skill is now easier to activate because it now only requires 3 basic attacks. Previously, it was 6 seconds and each basic attack will reduce the cooldown for 0.5 seconds. This is a better passive since he can now trigger it faster than before. And if you add Golden Staff, it will go down to 2 basic attacks before the passive is activated. His first skill is still the same where he lifts an enemy with his spear. The new part is physical defense reduction. Previously, it's minus 20 defense in 2 seconds. Now, it's minus 30 defense for 3 seconds. So, it's a stronger skill now. His second skill no longer requires a target to dash just like this. It means you can use it to dash 13 once. It gives him a better chance of escaping. Zilong's ultimate still has the same effect, where he gains movement speed, slow immunity, and attack speed, but it's been adjusted. Here is the difference between the old and new ultimate. The new ultimate also reduces the number of basic attacks Heroes needed to activate play. his passive, from 3 down to 2. So when using his ultimate, you only need 2 basic attacks Heroes for his passive. I think the new dash from his second skill is a big help for Zero, and his new passive skill gives him higher damage output. So what can you say about Mia, Yodora, and Zilong's revamp? Do you think they will come back to the meta with their new skills? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.